Ten years later, the pain of 9-11 is still present for so many people. We're joined right now by Professor Sandra Graham Berman from the University of Michigan. Sandy? Thank you so much for coming in tonight. Um, you know, a lot of kids who are just now 10 years old weren't even alive when 9-11 happened, yet they see all of these images on television and their parents are left to explain it to them. How should we go about doing that today? Well, I think it's a, it's a difficult thing to do because they weren't alive when the events first happened. On the other hand, they're very young, so it really has to be done carefully. I think. Uh, the best thing is to be very straightforward. Um, if children ask about it, you could say that three planes crashed into buildings, that people died. It was a very sad thing. Everyone in the country was very sad. Um, when parents talk to children today about 9-11 events, one of the important things is to reassure children that they themselves are safe now. The parents are going to protect them and take care of them as a way of reducing some of the worries that this kind of news and information can cause. Absolutely. You know, a lot can happen in 10 years. We spoke with several students 10 years ago who actually sent letters to New York City firefighters. Here's a look at how one of them feels about it right now. Like your attitude. You're ready to give up, but you never will, will you? I count on you to do your job. So many people believe in you because you're so strong. What can you do but say thank you? <laughs> it's insane what those people do for our country. And I'm just really proud to, that I wrote them letters and that they have that book. That's little Alex Forrest. We talked to her 10 years ago. She was a fifth grader and her entire class wrote the letters. That's her at the age of 20 and she's still impacted by what she did and firefighters wrote them letters back. So, I mean, what do you say to adults who are adults now but were kids back then? I, that's a, a really good question because people are going to think about it. This was a tremendous event that had a horrendous impact on people all across the country. The people who were the most affected were those who were in the closest proximity, those who lived in New York City or who could see the buildings or who had to run away from the smoke, but also those who had an emotional tie to the people who were uh, in, in the buildings, people who were killed or even people who were part of the rescue efforts um, and the cleanup and all of that. So many people were affected by it. Being able to talk about it with other people is so helpful. Um, people write letters to others. I, I appreciate what Alex did for the firefighters and being able to, to uh, connect with someone and say thank you for the efforts of, of trying to save lives and make a difference. Talking about it really helps. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Dr. Berman, for coming in. You know, I think we all feel more empowered if we can do something to help other people.